Former Bluetoon frontman Martin Babbage has paid tribute to the late Neil Cooper, one of six managers he played under at Peterhead. The 54-year-old died suddenly last month and his untimely passing rocked football, particularly the clubs he served on the field and in the dugout. Neil, who spent four and a half years at Balmore, left a lasting impression on everyone he encountered and will be sorely missed. Bavage said, When I heard the news, it was horrible, I could not believe it. Some former teammates, who I still meet up with, were in shock, even now, I still cannot believe it. It is just really, really sad and it is far, far too young. Neil was a great guy, someone who I bumped into on a number of occasions away from football. He was always upbeat, happy and every time you were in his company, he would be laughing and joking. Initially, the legendary Aberdeen midfielder came to Peterhead as Steve Patterson's number two in October 2006. However, once Patterson departed the club around 14 months later, Neil was promoted to manager, a role he held until March 2011. His bubbly personality made for plenty of joyous times, although there was a serious side behind the smile. Bavage said, as a manager, Neil had a bit of everything and he knew how to handle situations. I always remember pre-season training when he would be taking the mickey out of you as all the players tried to get into shape. I also recall the time when he went ballistic after we missed out on the chance to play Celtic in the Scottish Cup, we drew 2-2 against Queen's Park at Belmore and then lost the replay 1-0 at Hampton and that was the maddest I had ever seen him. A highlight under Neil's tutelage was, not long after he had taken up the reins, a resounding 9-2 victory over Berwick Rangers. Stuart McKay scored a hat-trick and Rory McAllister, who was briefly on loan from Inverness Kaylee Thistle, netted his first ever goal for the club. Bavage was also on the score sheet and added, Had I not managed to chip in that day, my time at the club might have been up because the goals were raining in. Neil, during his time as manager, put together a young side WIH guys like David Donald, Neil McVitie and David Ross, who all improved under him, and it was a good squad to be part of. Bavage, now 38, has since retired from the game after a decade of service in Buchan, which was followed by two seasons at Inverurri Locos in the Highland League. His Saturdays are now occupied by watching his two football-playing children, although he has not ruled out a return to senior football in a coaching capacity at some stage in the future. Bavage continued, At Peterhead, I played under Ian Wilson, Ian Stewart, Steve Patterson, Neil, John Sharon and then Jim McAnally. I do think I have something to give back, perhaps as a number two or a coach, but I cannot see myself becoming a manager. I remember, just before Jim came to the club, having to organize training and dealing with some other issues in the build-up to games. It was hard work but I do fancy getting involved again if the right opportunity came along. Netting 98 goals from 298 appearances, Bavage served Peter Head with distinction and hopes to see his old club climb back up the Scottish football ladder. He said, I have no regrets from my career and I look back on my time at Peterhead with really happy memories. There were lots of highlights and it was just a pity that we lost out on a penalty shootout in 2006. Against Pratik, which stopped us from back-to-back -back promotions and moving up to the championship. I believe Peterhead should be challenging at that level so hopefully they can get back there because they definitely should not be in League 2. By Glenn Moyer